Hello, today we are going to do some tapping. So we are gonna use our fingertips to do some tapping on some meridian points to help us relax, to help us get into um, a relaxed state no matter what it is that we are worried about, stressed about, experiencing limiting beliefs around. Um, one way to use this practice is to actually say what it is that we are concerned about. So we're going to go through the tapping points really quick um, just to give you an idea of where those meridian points lie that we're going to do in a certain order. Um, those are going to give us the relaxing effect and then I'm going to demonstrate how you can also use the statements that you are stressing over right now, whatever is weighing heavily on you, to actually actually neutralize that in your mind so that you have a different response to it when those thoughts come into your mind. It kind of neutralizes the threat, if you will. So go ahead and put both feet flat on the floor wherever you are. Take a deep breath. And we're gonna start with the karate chop point, which is right here on the outside of your hand. You can use either hand, either one um, that is feels more natural to you. And we're gonna take these four fingers and we're gonna just tap gently right on that karate chop point. Just take a deep breath. Just notice how the rhythm on that point feels relaxing. It doesn't take long. So that's the first point in the sequence that you're gonna be tapping on. Next, you're gonna to move to this point right on the inside of your eyebrows. So you can use two fingers here if you like. And just, you can close your eyes, just tap gently right there, the inside of the eyebrows. You can say things in your, to yourself in your mind. You can say, I am safe, I am calm, I am relaxed, whatever it is that you would like to say. The next point is right outside the eyebrow, right there on top of the cheekbone. So you're not tapping right on your temples where the soft part is. You're tapping right below that. Just gently with a couple of fingers tapping Next, you're gonna go right below underneath your eye. This one feels really good. If you've done this before, you know that this is just really relaxing for whatever reason. And the next point is underneath the nose right there, in between the nose and the mouth. Just gently tap. You don't have to do this aggressively. Feels very relaxing. And the last point, well, actually, the next to last point is right underneath the chin. Gently tapping. Remember, this is just like acupressure or even acupressure, acupuncture. This is why this works because of these meridian points that we're accessing here. And we're sort of disrupting the signals that are going through the body when our brain feels like something is wrong. The last one is gonna be right to the side where your ribs are. So you can see right here, underneath the chest, right there. Again, you're gonna use those four fingers just like you did on the karate chop point. You can do it on either side and you're gonna tap there. So first is the karate chop point, then the center of the eyebrows right here, right outside the eye right underneath the eye, right underneath the nose, underneath the chin, and finally, right there at the ribs, underneath the chest, kind of where your diaphragm is to the side. So the way that you use this with a statement that you're really struggling with uh, is what makes it the most effective, okay? So we could say something like, even though I feel stressed, 
about the t upcoming test that I have. I accept myself deeply and completely. So we're gonna go through and use that as an example, okay? And then you can replace that with whatever it is that's stressing you out at the moment. So we're acknowledging it. We're not just sweeping it to the side. This is a really great thing to do before you do affirmations, before you try and bring in a bunch of positive things that you want to um, believe or embody or internalize. All of that positive stuff is amazing, but it's going to be more effective if you can first acknowledge what's actually going on in your mind, okay? So we're going to say, even though, and I close my eyes for this because it's, it helps me to relax and concentrate. Even though I feel stressed about the test that's coming up, I accept myself deeply and completely. So you want to do this three times in each spot. Okay. This is just an example. So you'll say this two more times, then you're going to move to the next point. Even though I feel stressed about my upcoming test, I accept myself deeply and completely. Again, do that three times, move to the next point. Even though I feel stressed about my upcoming test, I accept myself deeply and completely. Even though I feel stressed about my upcoming test. I accept myself deeply and completely. Move to the next point. Even though I feel stressed about my upcoming test, I accept myself deeply and completely. The next point, even though I feel stressed about my upcoming test, I accept myself deeply and completely. Even though I feel stressed about my upcoming test, I accept myself deeply and completely. So again, just an example. Um, a new thing for you to learn and put into practice. You can do this several times throughout the day, um, especially for it to be the most effective. And you can use these statements in any way that you need to. So you can turn a negative into a positive. Um, I'll be posting more videos about this, especially for specific common things that we go through and thoughts that we have running through our minds so that you can access those if you need to. Um, but this is just a good little tutorial on how tapping works. Um, it's also known as EFT, emotional freedom technique, and it really can change and rewire the way that our brains react to stressors coming into our life. So I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you soon. Bye.